Hey guys, what's up? So what I've got here today is a really exciting video. Um, I, had, I used to have this RC helicopter and I unboxed it on the channel and I put a few test flights and I recently found it again and it had stopped working so it just, you know, it wouldn't really fly properly. So I took it apart, I took down the bare parts, so it's a, it was a four channel helicopter so you can see there's two servos, it was coaxial so there's two motors in opposite directions and there's an ESC with a transmitter and this is the transmitter here. So I took these parts and I thought what could I use them for? And I came up with this idea for a quadcopter. Now I think this is the first time I've seen it but my idea is to use two motors to control four rotors and create a pretty good quadcopter. Now I have no idea if this is going to work or not and I still have to you know build it, you know get the idea, get the parts, everything. But this is going to be the main idea. You can sort of see here I have um, outlined how this is going to work here. So I'm going to have the ESC, which is uh, this thing here. I'm just going to place it in the middle, so that's going to go there. I'm going to have the two servos, okay, so uh, one servo is going to go here, and another servo is going to go here, like that. Now this servo here is going to tilt this tail section, so I'll just zoom out a bit. Uh, it's going to tilt this section up and down, which will allow it to move forward and backwards, so this is the front here. And this piece, which is the experimental one, I have no idea if it's going to work, is going to tilt this side to side, which will hopefully allow the, uh, the quadcopter to turn. Now, these, are going, these motors are going to be mounted right there. They're slightly offset, so that I can have counter-rotating blades on either side, which should uh, overcome the torque issues, which will stop it from spinning side to side. But with that comes the issue of control. Uh, traditional quadcopters control by uh, using different speeds on each of the four propellers. So there's four different motors. I'm attempting to do this with just two, so... You know, that's the idea behind the controls. So you can see here, I have the controller. So if I set it up correctly how I plan to, we're going to have this. It's just as normal. It's going to be throttle up and down. This is going to be the turning by twisting this side to side. This should be the forward and backward by t tilting the back forward and backward. Now this is going to be the interesting one. Um, this is usually used to change the rotation on a helicopter. But this is actually going to make it go forward and backwards because of how the quadcopter works based on the um, four propellers. So now I have no idea if this is going to work guys. So I will keep you updated and Hopefully in a few weeks uh, I will have built it and I'll be testing it. I'll make sure to keep you guys updated so make sure you subscribe and I'll keep posting updates as soon as I get them and hopefully this works and it'll be the first time ever that there's a two motor quadcopter. I'll see you guys in the next video.